So bumpy. Good morning, everyone. I am so excited because I'm reunited with Joe today. What a fun day to come back to the vlog. I feel nervous. I feel like I've never met. Him. What the hell is he doing? Hello, the camera fell. Anyway, I'm meeting Jode and I'm so nervous but excited. I feel like I've not seen her in years. I, it's so weird that she's back from Australia. Like, I low key was like, I probably will never see her again, you know? Like, obviously I would, but just in my like head. Thank you everyone, thanks. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't used this camera in ages. Um, I've been using my new one. So, um, but this is this one sits in my car a bit better. Um, but yeah, I feel all nervous and rambly. This week, what have we got planned this week? Tomorrow, I'm having my eyelashes and eyebrows done. Um, Friday, I am having my nails done and nothing apart from got some work to do, booked in to send over to mail. And honestly, that's it. Nothing crazy. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I have no idea. I'll probably be seeing Joan, maybe we'll go somewhere. See so yeah, how she feels, she's jet lagged to fuck. So we will see, but I'm so excited to see her. Um, and I, I'll try and get out. I'm going to a house, so I don't know if I'm going to be going in or like what the situation is. So, um, whether I'll be able to get out of reunited on camera, I'll try and get it on my phone if not. Um, because I can stick my phone on the outside of my window, whereas I can't really with my camera, but I'll see what I can do. But, so you'll see her soon anyway. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. So. I have no idea, I just feel nervous and excited. But I will see you when I get to Joe. We're gonna go for brunch, I'm so hungry. So, yeah. Look who I've got here. Hi guys. <laughs> How we've got with the new camera. How exciting, we've just ordered a matcha a and a cinnamon. We're at the medicine bakery, it's a bit loud. So I'll probably talk to you when we're in the car and we'll catch up. But, just checking in to say, Look we're who's back. here, we're back together! <laughs> So excited when thinking about these. We'll get into hellos in a minute, but I'm trying some sweets. <laughs> I'm so excited to try these. Everyone in Australia has them, like Connor Kathleen always has them. Yeah, I had been looking everywhere for these, I haven't found them in the airport. I'll give off literally. Yeah, have you tried any? Um, I had these like snakes, but they were completely different to them. I um, looked everywhere. She's like, they sell any more worse? They don't. They're <laughs> <laughs> fucking lying. Oh, this one together. Thank you. That's a little frog. They feel quite hard. Mmm, they are. I thought they'd be like, they're meant to be like healthy ones. Mm -hmm. Like, look, they're after, so, you know how in England we have things rated like green, yellow, or red? Mm -hmm. They're rated like health star ratings, and these apparently are a five. Crisps are 2.5. They're the a five. Best. Five? These are rated a five. Oh, so these are guilt fruit, right? Yeah, guilt fruit. Good as fruit. Mm -hmm. They're very hard to chew. These are like snakes. They're not like wine guns. No. That's what they are. Because they're really ones I wanted. Quite flavoursome. Mm -hmm. The ones I wanted were like strawberry, like, yeah. you know, like strawberry and cream. They do not exist. So, so welcome back, guys. I'm back. Hello. 
I my door's open. Door's open. <clears throat> well, back together. Back together like we never left. Joe's got something to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> Don't know what to say. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Woo! Oh, Is it all white? Right? No. Um, no, no, it's just you can't She's right a now. fucking fiancé. So, Crazy we had this like secret conversation before we went mm -hmm. because like, we were what? like, go on. I wish I would have just filmed it. Oh, I do. Because, because we would have been like, haha, here we are again, proving right. I know. I wish we would have filmed it. Me too. But I said to me before I went, I was like, I just said it really randomly and I was like, I don't I, know why. I would have been shocked if I, you didn't come back proposed to them. Yeah. I would have been shocked. I was like, I don't know why it's had a feeling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Leading me down the garden path. Um, and so I expected to, but then, so like, obviously, we've been keeping in contact, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, I checked her hand because she sent a video singing to Dan <laughs> for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Not just, you know. Yeah. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Miss you. Okay, um, go. We'll go the right way. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, go down there. Um, so, um, yeah, so, <laughs> it, yeah, so when it happened, everyone was asleep. So I was like, I'm what's the date? Wait. I think it was Monday. I think it was the 18th. 18th of March. I, I love that it's an days. even number two. Like, oh, day before sure that. Oh, you would have literally just got engaged when it was Dan's birthday. His birthday is on the 19th. Right? Check my phone. I'm just, I can't remember singing to Dan. Like when, you know what I mean, like in my head. God, that was only last week, what the hell? What day was Dan's birthday 19th, on? 19th, last what, Tuesday. What? Yeah, it was, it was the Monday. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to answer Ollie? Yeah. Which way now, right? No, I'll call you when we get back. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why did you, I'm sure we could have gone left. Really? Yeah, it was the 18th. So, yeah, last so. Last Monday? Because everyone was asleep. A week ago? I, yeah, a week ago. Happy a week ago. Because it was a week ago, I was, no, because everyone was asleep <laughs> when it happened. So I obviously couldn't tell anyone. And then by the time I woke up, and I think you guys would have then been going to sleep, I was like, you know what, I've kept it in. It's going to be better to tell everyone in person. So I literally haven't told so the, the only person people. that knew was Jodie's mum. Yeah, and Holly's mum. And Holly's mum, yeah. Oh, grandma. did Holly's mum know? And did yeah. he tell her before he yeah, went? Yeah, he right, told okay. her before we went. Um, so yeah, told everyone we got home. Jodie got know. my reaction on... Yeah, I did. I feel on my on my on her phone. So That's what I got for the baby. Oh yeah, because we haven't even been able to say to give her that you're pregnant. I had to say it. I had to say it in my vlog. I was like, yeah, me is pregnant. <laughs> We've known for a while. We got, got her. Yay! We got me. We got Flopsy a little. Um, Phil Koala. So we call the baby Flopsy. We don't actually have a name. But, yeah. So I just call her. But Flopsy. we call her Flopsy or Bean. So there you go. Um, so lots of exciting things. Did you have a nice time in Australia? Hi. Tell everyone. Obviously, I haven't watched a vlog purely because like, any stories I wanted to hear from you. First I time. didn't want you to be like telling me, and I'm like, I saw that in the vlog. Yeah. So it I, feel I wanted so to detach myself. Like I thought, I don't want to ruin anything. I yeah. want you to tell me everything. No, guys, you know. it's the best place. And honestly, if you ever get the chance to go, go, go. Like it, it's just like a different world. And because of Ollie, some of Ollie's friends live there. Right, we're going left. Some of Ollie's friends live there and they put it so perfectly. Like, I feel like it's very UK culture. Every, like, not, this is very broad, but like, everyone complains about their job. Everyone's slightly unhappy. Like, people love to moan here. You never meet anyone unhappy over there. Like, I'm sure there are some unhappy people. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Day to day, like, talking to people, everyone's so kind, friendly. so happy, friendly, welcoming, open. Like, it's just weird. Like, it's just such a nice place. It's such a nice place. Oh, look, there's a Budgie's. Ooh. Isn't that like a Welsh um, place or like a North? Well, place? Well, well, there's a lot of them down south. I feel like there's more of a posh area. Yeah. It's console posh. I think we've just been to the medicine bakery. There's too much to talk about. We're in rambles. We're in rambles. It's been so, so long. It's been February. So it's like April in a couple of days. It really is. Me is basically giving birth. <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> it's um, mad no but i had the best time it's on we were really I'm sad so glad to you had home, a nice time but it like put a nice spin on it because i was like i'm sad to go home but like i'm excited to tell everyone yeah so it like put a nice spin on it you know were you excited to see me i was so excited to see you was i one of the most excited yeah i was literally like i just kept thinking oh, i'm gonna get to go home soon and this morning when I woke up, I was like, oh, I felt sick to my stomach. No, when you said you were on the... When I said to you, I'm ready, I was like, oh, it's happening. 
Why is this coming? I could I had the shake now. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't it. talk to my mum. She was talking, she's just going blah blah blah. blah. Oh, before we go, can we go to Tesco? Of I need to get on mum's prescription, please. Of course, yeah. My car broke. Which one? Knows. You know, the Does one by yours. Uh, but yeah, of course. Yeah, the tablets are there. Um she yeah, she was talking to me and I said, oh, I, I can't talk to you right now. Oh. I am just thinking about Mia coming. <laughs> I'm so happy. She's in this... the window watching us, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, I looked and I was like, <laughs> she's just staring. I just know how happy it would have oh, made her. I know. Oh, there, was so no, there was no feeling to describe. Like, I've been so excited and I've me been like, too. I'm going to be so happy. Like, I kept imagining I was so happy with me. Me too. But it doesn't come no, close it doesn't. to the feeling. It's the first hug, isn't it? It's so nice. <laughs> it's the best. I'm just and so happy. You know now. what's nice now? Like what? we're not leaving each other now. Like and I've if got we are, nothing but no, have you? No, no, no. Anything Apart from my that? baby moon, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I haven't booked yet. Don't worry. There's nothing but. <laughs> so and we can to spend so much time yeah, together. together. <gasps> and we can renovate the house together. Yeah, we can prepare and for just, the baby together. Yeah, and I'm just so excited. Yeah, we are. It's a good time. So we'll see if the rumours are true. Do you think I look uglier? Since no. you've been away. Why? Well, that because they true. say girls make oh, you girls ugly. Do you think I look okay? Yeah, but you've yeah, but you've got you look normal. You've got your hoops in. And people in your comments saying you're glowing. <laughs> I've been reading. It is glowing. <laughs> I no, don't my know. skin has got so much clearer. It really? Well, you did instantly, <sighs> didn't it? Really? I feel like I feel so much more like confident yeah you would a few I days never have not more makeup no and like, all i've got on is my drunk elephant drops yeah. and a bit of the do you know what you need to get yeah. so good all i've got on on, on hit, the hit is the primark blush drops really they're, they're amazing the we bronzer drops are vile. yeah we'll go we'll go well if yeah. you feel up to it this week we'll do a little no no pressure shopping trip yeah. if you like there's some places i want to go i want to go to Bista village with yeah you. i would like to do a nice spring london trip mm-hmm. i want to go to mary hall home yes, shopping yes i want to go to Primark home too. So maybe one day, maybe one day, if you feel up to it, we'll go on a little. Yeah. Um, I think as long as we keep having early nights. We could even do a no there. makeup shopping trip if you want. Oh, that'd be nice. Comfy no makeup yeah, shopping trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice, nice little nice drinky day. poo, little healthy yeah. lunch. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, brilliant. Um, the only thing I've got this week is I've got my eyebrows and fingers tomorrow. You've got your nails. Nails. And then oh, Friday, um, I've got an afternoon, I've got my appointment with Amelia Second. and that's it. What about you? Um, literally just my nails tomorrow. And then Brilliant. I'm going out, with lunch, going out with my grandma for lunch on Wednesday. Okay, perfect. For then that nutty. Maybe we should go Thursday. Yeah. Um, Hopefully my car gets fixed. But if not, if, my, not, if my car gosh. doesn't, well, yeah, or, well, also, and or. Um, Amber said I could always insure her car and use it because obviously hers is just Adam. sad. Yeah, and it'll just be like mine. Uh, my car wouldn't start this morning, guys. There's a few issues. It's not what we want to hear, is not it? Not really. I mean, just fucking brought a house, come home from Australia with a car break. I oh, know, got a wedding to plan, house to plan. It, it's a lot going on, really. Oh, no. But can you believe we'll be attending a wedding? Ooh! Guys, I'm it's so crazy. excited. What crazy. I got my maid of honour. I see it now, the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, I'm not really, but partly joking. <laughs> So fun. <laughs> no way. Won't, she's thinking 2026. Yeah, yeah. I need to do the house first. And like I want to enjoy both chapters of my life. You know, not be like scrambling to, to do everything. I'd rather, you know, enjoy the house renovation, live in the house. Okay, just think about the wedding. There's no rush. There's really no rush. Also, I thought I would come and explain the psychic situation. <laughs> so Oh god, because guys, we wanted to say Everyone was saying, like, sack the psychic, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted to clarify, we've never actually said what's been said. Mm-hmm. The only glimpse was when I told Jodie, there's a little clip of, like... Me going, the psychic said! <laughs> yeah, so I thought we would run through this mm-hmm. and what actually happened. Okay, okay. so I start from the very beginning, then you can take Jody's over. Jodie's birthday. Is it my birthday? That was when... Oh, yeah, I said to you, so... No. What? Why were we there? Was it your birthday? Where were we? Why were we in I'm not telling Birmingham? you where to go first. Let's see. Was it my birthday with my mum and I said to you? Okay, yeah, I know where we are. Tell us the date at the Medicine Bakery. <laughs> I think it was the 13th of October, wasn't it? I said to Mia, I have got a was psychic... Was it October? Yeah, because that's when my auntie died. Wasn't it, I'm sure. Don't make me laugh. I'm sure it was. I'm not laughing at what <laughs> sure I just... Was. No, but, right. Yeah, it was because it was the funeral. Did she die in October? Maybe it was like the end of September, October. Yeah, but the only reason, but 
Why were we? Why were we? Was it for your birthday? Are you sure? Yes, my mum was there, wasn't she? Yeah, but what I'm confused is like, what? I hadn't started trying for a baby in October, had I? Did I get pregnant in two months? Do you know what I mean? I, I thought it was like. Yeah. Because no, you hadn't. I oh, just had, had a little bit right? more of a. Yeah, it was the first day you picked me up in the figure. Yeah, so why were we going to the medicine bakery? What was it, your mum's birthday? It was my birthday. But why were we going in September? You know, it was October. It was October? Yes, it was the 13th. It was the day before my birthday. I remember my birthday was on a Saturday, it was a Friday. So when was the psychic? Like a week after. It was like the 17th. Oh, it was quick turning around for the baby then. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm Second not... exit. So, okay, right, yeah. We, so I booked a psychic because my brother had been to her and she was really good. Like she said it was she a double appointment yeah, for me and me right? my nan. And she was meant to be very good. She was connected to my dad, so I was like, okay, I have to go. And then it turned out that I'd, I'd waited for like six months for this appointment. She was quite hard to get in. And then it turned out that my great auntie's funeral was on the same day. So I was like, obviously, uh, obviously I can't go. And I thought, it's such a shame to cancel it because one, they're so hard to get. And I was like, two, I was like, I feel like someone obviously is meant to have the appointment. Not a better person. Exactly. So I said, Mia, I said, I've got two appointments. I said, like, I could cancel them, but it's such a shame to. Like, why don't you go and take one of your nans? I was like, I'm sure you like to go. So, I took Glenys. Yes. And in this, I still haven't listened to it back. We so, need to listen to it back to like pick up on the Yes, details. I've got the CD, so we'll listen to it this week. This, um, so this lady says to me, you know, your boyfriend works in construction. You do blah, blah, social media. I think I did a brief roundup with no personal details. Anyway, yeah. so she goes, I'm seeing... Uh, like she's like, she goes, have you spoke about having children? And I'm like, yeah, because we had. Like, we had, yeah. weren't trying. I don't, I don't believe we'd started trying. I was like, we've spoke about it, you know? Yeah. And she said, I'm seeing... She was like, do you have a long head? <laughs> dark, dark head. Dark, long head friend. Because I'm seeing her pregnant. And I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck yeah. off. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? <laughs> She's going to Australia. So I start panicking on Jodie's behalf. And I said, I said, oh no. <laughs> oh no, really? <laughs> oh, she doesn't want one yet, I'm saying. And she's like, well, she's happy. She's, like, she's going to be really happy about it. And I'm like, shit, really? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, she went, it's going to be a girl. And I was like, oh no, Ollie wants a boy. I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna bear this bad news to my best friend. I'm getting a bit nervous. Um, yeah, straight over. So, so she's like, they rent. They, they live together. And I said, ish. I was like, they're by Nesh, went, They're gonna have the baby as they move in. And I'm thinking, well, oh, she said they're in. renovating a house. Yes. They're renovating a house, and then they're gonna move in, and then they're gonna have a baby. Yeah. And she was like, it's like the baby. This baby is gonna be born just either as they're moving in or just before yeah. or like really around the time it's gonna come to Straight. that time and she went you're gonna be godmother and i said really i thought i'd like to hope so <laughs> and she was like you are gonna love this baby gonna so much baby. you're gonna be obsessed with this baby like you're gonna be so close to it you're gonna want a baby and have a baby not long after and i'm like right i thought well, i'm a bit annoyed actually because <laughs> I wanted a baby. <laughs> there's me. Literally. There's this fucker being, you know, careful sometimes. The level not. And I'm here like, Dan, can we please. have a baby, please? <laughs> Begging on my knees, you know, waiting. You know, how do I was going to reveal I was pregnant? So I'm thinking, my, I thought, well, what's the well, point we now? were in shock, weren't we? So I, so then, blah blah, blah blah. That was what it was to do with the baby. Shed the bed, the baby, and I was thinking, right bit annoyed but it's okay like it's how it's meant to pan yeah. out you know the, Adele was saying this is how it worked out and I thought fucking bitch but whatever so I <laughs> meet up with Jode okay and we debrief in Wagamama's and I we were at Asda oh. petrol station okay and I said I've got something to say <laughs> I've got something and she was say. like but <laughs> and I'm like you're having a baby girl and she's like what do you mean and I'm like <laughs> you're having a baby girl and she's like oh and I'm sure, like, I don't know what well, I was just in shock, wasn't I? Yeah, and I was like, like, the psychic told me. I'm like, the psychic you said, about you're my. Who else would you about? I was like, my dark hair, long haired best friend. Who else would this be, okay? Who so I'm like, 
Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're like, so we we are saying in the car like, right, you're gonna have a baby first. Like, yeah. shocking. You know, I was low key a bit disappointed. But I was like, this is how it's gonna work yeah. out. Like, this baby, Joe's baby, is gonna prepare me for a baby. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm gonna love it so much. God, mom. Anyway, so I'm like, oh my god, you know, we're debriefing, we and then so much we fun. go to like, Wagamama's for lunch. Wasn't I? Yeah, yeah we go to Wagamama's for lunch, and we're like. Well, we're chatting about it the whole time. There's a baby behind us, and we're like, that's going to be ours. Yeah. And at this point, I'm thinking, this is going to happen. Jodie's thinking, like, I need to tell Ollie, like, we are having a child. Yeah, the psychic has told us. Yeah, and, like, it's all going to be a bit of a rush. The house is obviously yeah. going through. Well, like, we, we, we didn't even have the house, did we? No, no, it, well, no. It was, yeah, it was October. Yeah, we're long away from the house. Fucking hell. <laughs> and, and then... Oh, this is the worst part, isn't it? Right. This is Sorry. my perspective. We're ready to go, aren't we? So, we've, you, you we've, take it We've away. calmed ourselves down at this yeah. point, kind of. I like, you know, at Wagon Mom's when you're in the high stall, I sort of push it back, get in the right lane, so we got to go right at the traffic lights. I push it back and I stand on something on the floor. And I just go, what's that under my foot? And I move my foot and I go, it's a dummy. And I go, oh no, it's getting hot. I go, what colour is it? Pink! Pink. It and then we literally pink. both go, <gasps> So then we were like if you overheat we'll turn you back on but i was like oh my, my god. god it's gonna happen it's gonna so happen. we were convinced jodie was, was gonna give birth but we think because jodie was initially meant to go that message was meant Me- for her yeah, to give and to i think me- she's to crossed me. us over a little yeah. bit i think she, how i don't know but i think that specific message just got crossed over because i'm the long hair dark haired friend yeah, in the and end. your hair is dark and no, yeah it was and who, blonde who, last yeah. year and it's a girl and it's a girl when, well when they told me she's pregnant and like, joe tapes will probably be ready around the time she's yeah. born <laughs> crazy guys Mental. so i know the message isn't exact but it's pretty much it's quite it's quite it's along the path yeah you know it's a very specific thing it's very specific yes yeah, so i think she's just meant to give it so me. that's that explain because i've been yeah. having some questions about it <sighs> fucking crazy fucking mental. that's why like if if that hadn't have happened at the psychic i would have been more expecting me to tell me she was pregnant but we both just sort of agreed had it oh it's not gonna happen yeah then. it's I gonna be thought, me yeah joe you know have you had your period this month yeah I yeah have. Have. Oh, i'm god. like oh god a little while to wait <laughs> yeah. i've got at least Next nine month. months <laughs> at least nine ten months <laughs> to go yeah, yeah. you know it's crazy so so now i need to actually go back to see what she has we're to dying to, yeah. to to get it and i almost think we should do it off my number just to yes. see if things get crossed over yeah because i've texted her a few times sort of for people so i'm probably annoying her we need to do it off your number we'll do it this week because yeah, i just want it booked in because i'm dying to know Crazy. Um, so that's the story so that's the story of balamore that's right? why like we were just shocked but that's why i knew it was a girl and that's why i was low-key worried like is things gonna be okay because yeah. like she didn't say it was gonna be me i was convinced yeah. it was jode and when it wasn't we were like we were like what is for you know is this normal <laughs> is this part of the plan of day literally because every time we've been anywhere it's like you're having a baby and yes. i'm like i'm not yeah well it's like you're pregnant <laughs> you're having a baby first there's talking about names literally <laughs> so there you go. There we go. That's um, the story, you can overheat guys. now for all we care, but yeah. that's the, that's the honest. Yeah, that's the story. So this is why we've all been a bit shook up with it all. Really, really crazy. It's crazy, man. So you've only got a few more vlogs with us. Well, a few more vlogs, a few more months with just us. Just us. So be someone in the back. Oh my god, I know. And we'll be listening to fucking Miss Rachel. Oh. Nah, but well, have you seen that one? It's like. Did you say, hey rabbits or something? Oh, hey bunnies. Oh, hey little bunnies. Yeah. Hey little bunnies. Hey little bunnies. Oh god. Keep seeing it on my TikTok. We'll be listening to that. No more fucking train drive by. Oh no. It'll be fucking Mrs. Rachel pissing us off. New chapter we could, it. we could get her baby headphones when I <laughs> put them on in the back. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Can't really oh, listen it's to crazy, her. guys. Because we haven't been able to talk about it together. No, we've not been able to say it out loud on no. the vlog. So now we're open to talk so openly. Because you won't see us till next week. You know, jo- you'll know Joan's engaged already. It's not even a surprise. Tonight's the night. Yeah, Tonight's the night. Yeah, everyone knows now. Apart from you guys. Yeah. My family and everyone knows. It's been a roller coaster of an emotions today, has I tell you that. It really has. It's been a wild day, hasn't it? That's why I was so excited. Like I was so I was so tired, I was like, I was so tempted to just come and knock. But I thought I'm not gonna be able to leave for hours. That's what no. I was thinking. I was like, it's not gonna be a casual half an hour. Well, this is what I thought yesterday, like, you know, because I we went for a meal at half six, I was like, We've only got an hour if she texts me now, yeah, <laughs> you know. No. 
So, but we're unlimited with time, which is nice. And now Literally. we've got the whole week, and we've got main facts out. Yeah, it's just added extras now. You know, little mini stories. Yeah. We've just, yes. I just ne- we're never going to leave each other again. Never. So sad. I wasn't vlogging, and neither was you. But it was so sad when we left. We was both. When I picked her up in the morning, she opened the door and she didn't even look. She just like come out and turned her head and locked the door because she's already crying. <laughs> it's awful, wasn't it? I felt really sad. Me too. The coach bag softened the blow, but it yeah. was sad. <laughs> <laughs> did. Did, did, were you happy with your choice, left or right? Right. right. Were you happy? Did yeah, you that I'm choice? so glad I got it. Because you would never have spent the money on no, a yellow bag. Literally, but I'm so glad. And I think now we're home, like, grey joggers. I bought it. Whoa! Whoa! Is she alright? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> fucking hell. I need to get a fucking stick stick. How the is it still going on the heat? I'm, really I'm got shocked. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I brought a yellow cap when I was away. Oh, grey joggers, nice perfect. little white top. A bit yeah. warmer weather, or if you didn't yeah. jack it off the shoulders, gorgeous. I feel uninspired with outfits. So do you, now you're back. Oh, that's what I, I need like a whole I got new wardrobe. The thing, then I thought I'm wearing this for the post. I feel like I need a whole new wardrobe. Well, you're gonna keep needing one. I oh, know. Because I'm like, well, my style change once I've given birth. Slob. <laughs> As you came on with your mom. Thank you, you bitch. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I you just, just need like, comfy things, just nice comfy tracks. It's nice comfy soft tops. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking like I want to get a few more stretch. I found another version much comfier than Adenola. And Lululemon's way comfier than a lot of them. Yeah. That's why I want to go to Bister and get like just two more pairs of leggings. Hopefully, yeah, colours like a nice grey right pair because they stretch so beautifully. I can imagine they'll be fine once I'm like back into yeah, and then be back. In. Yeah. Um, so yeah, gosh, so many it's time for activity now, guys, and we're getting a blank street in Birmingham. We can't so film it. We don't know when. We should look when we if, if and when we go. We should look, look, look for look. signs. Yeah. Where are you? Empty yeah. building. I if there's like a news article about it. What? Well, yeah. I couldn't see one online. I mean, you're better at um, yeah, stalking. Stalking than me, so maybe have, have a look. Um, but I couldn't see one, which was a shame. Yeah. Are you excited to get back cooking? Yeah. Have you missed it? Yeah. Has it been nice eating what you want though? How did you turn it on? Turned around. Oh, you've turned around. So, hang on. Then just leave it and it'll okay. turn off and flick um, it. Have a cup, did you say? Um, it, no, are you excited to get back on cup? Yeah. But was it nice eating what you fancied, though? Not really. She hates I'm it. Not she loves being under a yeah. Like, it's fun for I like... thrive being a rebel. Yeah. But she just does not. I, th- I thrive for like a week and then after that I'm like, I don't feel good for this. So I have to start making healthier choices, you know, get a salad for lunch. What are you doing there? Yeah. You know, I won't get chips. Was there a lot of healthier choices though? Yeah, because it's more like... Because it's hotter as well. Yeah. I feel like you want nicer, like, like fresher food, food right, as well. Yeah. Like salads and stuff. Yeah, so it'd be really nice. So I just mm. can't believe you've been. Me either. It feels like I didn't even go now. I bet. It did, like a dream? Yeah. It's like a fever dream. I know what you mean. The proposal felt like that. Was like, what do you mean a fever dream? I was like, it just doesn't feel like it happened. Yeah, no, it feels like a joke. Yeah, it does. Like, wake up and the ring's going to be gone. I oh, know. When you've had your nails done and you've got... I can't wait to have a look tomorrow. Know. Shave my legs. Did you, how long did you burn last? Oh, like two days. I was quite proud. Did you feel... Um... Good morning, my angels. I am... It is 8.54, I'm just dropping the dogs off to get groomed. I stayed at my nan's last night, and it was the last week of nights. Oh, yeah. Um, but I love staying at my nan's, to be fair. Um, she always makes me breakfast, and it just reminds me, it gives me, like, childhood vibes, and I absolutely love it. I've got a little coffee here. Um, I'm slowly sipping on that, and, yeah, I'm dropping the doggos off at um, their grooming appointment. I'm just sorry I didn't pick you up yesterday. So I got home from seeing Joe at, like, half five because i went in and saw her mom and like we were just chatting for so long her grandma was there so like we had a full family reunion um and obviously there was so much to talk about with the baby being engaged joe's holiday like yeah there was too much to talk about so we um went to we went to we went to what do i mean what am i saying we did that and then um and then I got home and we went to Sainsbury's and I didn't want anything particular. I just was not hungry last night for no reason. Like, I don't know why I wasn't hungry, but all I had was some super noodles last night. Like, and Joe, me and Joe had been voice noting this morning. She was like, all I had last night was, um, 
I don't know if I need to get up here or right. I think right. Um, all I had last night was um, super noodles and she said I was just not hungry last night. I don't know why, but like, yeah. So we went to the medicine breaker in console, which was, which was nice. I'd say the drinks were a bit of a letdown, like the iced coffee was just like not nice in my opinion and neither was the matcha, like, <laughs> cack, <laughs> it was a bit cacky, um, but yes, I, um, what else do I have to say, this morning I'm gonna go home, Dan's obviously asleep, he got home, he texted me he only got home at like four, half four this morning, so I'm gonna go home and like luckily the dog won't be there so it'll be nice and quiet for him. I don't know if I need to go right here. Sorry, I'm going a bit of a different way because I'm running late. I think this is right. And um, and then he, um, he was like, um, I, my, I was bad talking before I got pregnant and now like baby brain just has me I don't even know what, like, I just cannot string a fucking sentence together. Anyway, <laughs> I, um, today I'm gonna go home, I've got some work to do this morning, and then I'm going to get my eye resin lashes done at one. I've got some work to do this morning to just finish off, so I probably would be a bit quiet this morning, and obviously Dan will be asleep, and I have to film a fucking talking haul, so, I don't know how I'm gonna, I might, I don't know, I feel a bit stressed about it, because I don't, I'm a bit worried, like, and my eyebrows are going to look so dark later that I'm not going to want to film, you know? Anyway. Um, yes, so that's today's plan. And I've got Zumba tonight. I'm going to walk the dogs. We're going to have a little razzle-dazzle around the house. And then we've... Dan's booked a skip for either Thursday or Friday. Um, and we're going to start clearing the house. I'm going to change the front of the house and things like that. So we can do that. Um, when tomorrow I'm going to see Joe for a bit and then um, tomorrow afternoon I think me and my nan are going to go for a coffee and it's my nanny Glennis's birthday tomorrow so I'll see her um, Thursday I think me and Joe go, might go out for the day Friday Friday what's happening Friday I've got my nails and Dan's off and we're going to go to Ikea Mamas and Papas so that's the rough outline for this week so it looks like the sun is trying to come out which is nice i had my first spot in ages today and like it felt so sad like i feel like god it like feels so like weird because my skin has been so much clearer and i feel so much more grateful for it and like that is the biggest pregnancy like blessing ever and i hope it stays clear when i'm not pregnant anymore yet. i have no idea but i'm obsessed with how clear it is like i've never felt like more happy and i'm just trying to get rid of the scars while there's not much active acne so yeah feeling good um and that's kind of the update from me really um it's a little bit chilly this morning but it feels like it could brighten up to be a nice day which is really nice so i will see you in a bizzle here's raw where's Rayleigh? Rayleigh, here's a before here's a before of the boys I'm in a rush, gotta go, here's a before, about to have my eyebrows and lashes done, see ya. I actually look horrendous, I need to wash my face because I've got like half drunk elephant in face and half not. However, this is the eyelashes and eyebrows. Obviously I feel like the first day they never look at the best because like they're a bit dark on the eyes, the eyebrows are always a bit dark but I'm really happy with them. My eyelashes look really long, they look really, I asked them for like a straighter curl, not like a big, um, like, I didn't want them really curly because I just don't like that look and yeah she was really really lovely and it was nice um it went really quick I was done in like an hour and 20 dogs are back I'll show them the haircut we're just gonna go and walk them then we're gonna get a something for dinner and yeah I'm trying to sort out my um hard drive and stuff BTS so that is what I have been doing so my SD cards have been in the computer, but yeah. Hello, girly pops. We are going to get a pedicure and we are excited. We are excited about it. 
I, we haven't had, but we seem to have timed it when it's oh, on oh, half oh, time. I think this is like the third or fourth time. Which isn't nice, but surely next time, how? Well, no, but you say that, but I think don't kids break up like every six weeks. Hmm. And I feel like that is pretty much what oh, I think that is pretty, I think that's our problem. It was Christmas, then it was February half term. Remember what I bought that no, was? It's oh, Easter. breaking up in February. Yeah, no, it's Easter half term. Don't take that off yet. Uh, down here. Uh, can I have some then? <laughs> of course you can have some. It's a nice little bottle. That's it's Stanley's still. So, yeah, so in Australia, Australia, I was expecting everyone to have Stanley's. No. Oh, Stanley's are so out. Really? Yeah, like, I was going around, and I was seeing this Frank Green brand, like, everywhere, and I was thinking, what is, is that? Is that the one who does the greens brand, like, greens? No, I think that might just be Frank's. Fra oh, so okay. I was just seeing them, and I was, like, getting a bit of curiosity, and then I go to Ollie's friend's apartment, and I'm not kidding you, it was, like, a showroom Frank Green show. Really? I said, what is this? Like, please, someone tell me what it yeah, is. Why are they so good? And then one of Ollie's friends said, I used to work for them. Oh. Uh, and he said, so I used to get them all for free, and I was like, Oh. oh. So then he was like, do you want one? I was like, absolutely. Yeah, I, I do want one. I want to get one with the Australian yeah. girls. So he gave me that one and I was like, oh, what's what that? What a fucking slam. And then honestly, like, you go into like a cute little coffee shop and they'd be selling them or they'd have like a collab with them no everywhere. And I then, love that. Yeah, and then when I saw my like Australian friend the second time, I realised she had one. Because funny you should say that because really I do never see people with a Stanley in Australia. No. Like they're showing YouTubers. Yeah. It's always American. I don't know, thank you. Like, <laughs> Cheers, <right>. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, um, it's all Frank Green. Oh, what? Just one of the many differences. <laughs> There's a few, but this is just one. That's just one, yeah. That's so interesting. I know. And like, literally, when you notice it, then they're everywhere. There was a lovely, like, lemon one. Ooh. And obviously, I was thinking, shall I get it? But I was thinking, it's just because you've got a yellow bag. Yeah, you're it, absolutely it, ridiculous. It, it, yeah, it, once you've got one thing, you think, oh, I just want it all matching. Yeah, and then I thought, I don't need two. Get a life. <laughs> no. One to wash, one to wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me that image. No, it's very cute. So, yeah. It yeah. really matches the, the outfit, to be honest. I oh, know. And it's it keeps lovely. it cold still, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. Was it yesterday? I put ice in it the night before, and there was still ice in it, like, That's what we want to hear. Lovely. We want to hear that kind and of... And it's a leaf so... That's what we like. A couple of them a day, and you got your intake in bags. What, did we, what have you got? Because I, I was sat there, we had... When did we eat? So it took our Tuesday. Yeah. And I was like... No, Monday. And I was Monday. like... Jade was like, I'm obsessed with what I've got. And I was like, yeah, thinking I had something different. And I was like, me. I yeah, love the same. same. No, I've got French. Same? Oh, you have? I have. Well, I just thought, I was so confused because I thought, has she got something that I don't? No, Did remember. you match your toes? And no. I thought, I thought I made myself a teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember, because she was like, what colour do you yeah, want? Yeah, pink. Right, okay. Yeah, I remember. And we and were I, like, oh, we'll go for that Is one. that a shop opening or is it like a warehouse? Well, and then, well, I thought after, I was like, did she mean that she got something different and I'm here looking like a twat and I'm obsessed with my friend? <laughs> I was no. like, do you know what I mean? No, it's the same. I've, I've never been a twat. No, it's the same. Um, but yeah, we had like a pink undertone and it's perfect. It's, it's everything I could have dreamed yeah, of. And it's grown like, so, so nice. nice. Because of the colour, it's like almost perfect. Yeah, and now really is. But I don't know if I've got a bit of a bruise on my toe because I've got like a black oh, mark. What is that? Uh, you can put one if you want snake slip oil. Look, can you see that like black mark? Oh, and that yeah. can't be dirt down there. No. So I don't know if it's a bruise. I'm not a fungal or something in the way. I'm a bit nervous. Did you, you drop like a white? I don't know. But I'm nervous now, you know, to be like, because they talk about you sometimes. Mm, 20 years, I think it's scarce. You never know what they're saying. No, especially when they're like, there's two of them. You know what, and, really? Well, sorry, carry on. They're gone. Well, when we were in um, Australia, there was like a massage thing. So we yeah. like went in. And um, the Ollie has a Japanese tattoo, like style tattoo on yeah. his leg, doesn't he? And then we said, like, oh, where are you guys from? And she said, oh, I'm from Japan. I'm just like here. Yeah. So he's like, can you translate what my leg means? And like, I was thinking oh, it was going to be easy because it just it's yeah. in a word. <laughs> no. like, they have to get all three of them on it. And like, obviously really? Ollie's tattoo artist said, so just put this on his leg. And he's always wondered like, what is it? Yeah, because he said it's something like honor. So oh, does he have like a sign? Yeah, like so does Dan, symbols. but like, he doesn't know what it means either. Yeah, and like the tattoo artist said it meant honour, but then like the, there was like a girl and two boys and they were all looking at it. They just didn't know. Not, well, one was like, it means, obviously it was a little bit of a language barrier. So we, we were trying to sort of get at each other, but she was like, 
celebration, like event, birthday. And then I was thinking, but that is, is that like we're honouring it? Yeah, what do you mean? So I've clung on to that for him. Yeah, because he was thinking, oh my God, what have I got on my leg? But like, there was like laughing with us. I was like, oh <laughs> That's God. awful, isn't it? Like someone was like, it means age. I was like, age? I don't know, age. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I think there's those traffic lights here too. They're I'm everywhere. Yeah, that's nice. It is nice, isn't it? But I I thought it would be better. It reminds me of, um, what lip was it? kind of reminds me of the Clinique. It's got that sort of yes, space. Yes, well, I think it's because, like, I don't know what people apply on TikTok to make their lips look like they do. Because I, I just know. think, well, you don't look like that. I know. Like, unless we just don't have the lips for it, I'm thinking, what, where? TikTok's just, yeah, but you think you can, can have that enhance on. Pardon? You know, like on the TikTok, like, and you have the enhanced filter on everything. That's I just think, you know, if people say you're a dream and then you think, I oh, know, you buy ah, it. Good job this was clearance. <laughs> I do like it, but I'm just like, you know, didn't give this not an wet glass look, glass look, yeah, glass look that I expected when I saw it on, I don't know, one of the girls. Yeah. Like, it's nice, but I'm not like, yeah, no, your it's lips not have never actually. looked better, Jodie. Yeah. You know? Anyway, so it's we're going right. to get some. Um, we're gonna get some cash out, we're gonna get a little cough, and we're gonna go and get a pedicure. Because it just feels right. I feel like if you don't have a drink to sit in, oh, no, it's not when so you, fun, is No, it? but did you see, um, I don't know if there's something new or she just made it, but did you see the girl saying, like, this is your sign to get the, this new like, latte from Costume? It tastes like a Kinder Bueno or something. No. But I don't know whether she'd just done the classic eyes or not. But then they don't do white chocolate, so I was like, are we okay. missing something here? Well, I don't, well, I might be wrong, but like, you know, like, what? I do do a white hot chocolate. Maybe oh, I get scared to customising costume. It doesn't feel right. I saw them on a walk yesterday around Mill Farm. Oh, look at them walking again. Yeah, active God. green. Really active green. And they said oh. Sasha was quite slow and they went, oh, it's like your nan. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, it really made me laugh. I was like, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> like, Costa doesn't feel like approachable. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's it doesn't just doesn't like you ask for what's on the menu, you fuck up. Literally, you stick to I don't think it's like Starbucks where you can go in like fucking doing yeah, what you so want. So what I want is a blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I get scared in Costa a bit, do you? Yeah, it doesn't feel it's just not that. What time did you wake up this morning? How's your jet lag feeling? We so by nine PM we're both absolutely KO'd. KO'd. I mean more so obviously because it's obviously like, <laughs> <He's working. laughs> but like literally KO'd. So he was asleep pretty much half nine. I went to sleep at ten and then we've been waking up between five and half past. I mean if you can stay in the routine. That, that's what I mean. That so is I'm just productive. clinging on to his routine from now. Yeah. Try, like, try not to stray too much this weekend. Yeah. Well we've got the house, so I really don't think we will. Yeah, you'll be there and square. Yeah. Has he been this week? He went we popped in on Sunday. I said, don't worry. I said, have four days at work. Yeah, it's and okay. And then four days. we've got four days. What a treat. Exactly. And holiday. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's Bank holiday Friday. And Monday. It's and a four-day weekend, yeah. So I said, four. that's two weekends worth of What's well, so like this Friday and the Monday? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I think there's another one in a few weeks. Bloody hell, you never know what's happening, yeah, do you? Yeah. When you're out of yeah, practice like, like us, yeah. like employed, it makes no difference. Um, well, when there's a bit of progress, guys, I'll take you and update you. Because um, obviously there's not much happened while Joe's been away. And no. also, um, when things have a bit moved on, we'll be able to paint and stuff. So we yeah, can actually, and we can like, sh you know, sh I'll show you a bit more. Because I, I didn't even show you inside the house. Obviously, you can watch Joe's vids. But yeah. we just got a bit excited. And yeah, like, there was stuff with the wear. wall and stuff. So it was all a bit of a distraction, the walls, to be honest. No. Is it? Does it look good? Yeah, it does. Is it nice not to see her? Um, her bungalow. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, bye. <laughs> I'm back from the pedi, Joe's just left, and I just got French. My tan's a bit rough on my toes, but I, yeah, just got French. I'm out of breath because I just carried all this upstairs, all the washing. Um, but I've had a vintage delivery. I bought it a second hand. Oh, it's called Docker Top now, and they're not recommended for safe sleep. However, a lot of people said they were really, um, Good just to put the baby in supervised aka on the bed in this or like even like on the floor in this like while they were having a shower or i don't know i need to do like have a look but you can take the cover off and wash it and this girl had had it professionally cleaned and there is not a mark on it and it was literally 30 pound whereas in on vintage it was it, on john lewis it's 145 so i was like 
I think I'm going to get that. So I bought that and it literally came in over a few days. Like, I've been seeing a lot on Vinted. I think I'm going to get a few things off there. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Um, I also am going to unbox my new shoes. So I thought we could do it together. Um, I'm so hungry. All I've had is a watermelon and it's... What time is it? Five to one. I'm absolutely ravenous. They're nicer than I remember. I just got these sambas. I thought they were sick. I'm going to send a picture to my mum because she loves... Um, she loves sambas. I really like those. Are they sambas? Yeah. Um, these are the... It's on the box. Carb... Cardbo Sea White... I have no idea. I have no idea what these are. But this is the colourway anyway. Samba OG doesn't say the colourway. I got them in a six and a half because Samba's I size up half a size, but I love these. So I got those. Um, I don't really have any other packages to show you. I had one from Origins yesterday, but the cream's downstairs. Um, but yeah, no more packages to report. I'm going to put a little bit of washing away while I'm wiping it down because I want to try and keep this room as tidy as I can. And then we're going to start getting the slabs up and sort the skip out. So I will catch up with you when I know what to um, eat. I've got on this, I was cold to be honest outside. I've got, just got this POT cardigan on and then I've got my Lululemon leggings on and I just had my Ego Uggs. Um, and yeah, I... So never no makeup day. I'm just really enjoying not wearing any makeup, especially like as my skin's better, I just feel more confident. And this is how my lashes and brows are looking today. Really happy with them. Um, I don't know if I've spoke to you other than that, but yeah, I am going to sort the washing out. So, TTYO. Amazon package has just been delivered so I thought we could open it together I don't think anything that exciting is in it but I thought I'd show you or not let me just pan you down I got some um oh it looks like a um foreign -y kind of one I got a toothpaste this is a and I got a mouthwash same brand and I got some castor oil for the lashes and brows and then I ordered a pack of things for Vinted to send off and then hip I you know I'll use the body wash they just sent me this massive package which is so fun they've included two books I can't believe how generous they've been and I already use their shower gel I love them they sent me a water bottle I think it's a water bottle I don't know if it's something for the baby and then they sent a chocolate bar, which me and Dan have just eaten. Head to toe wash, which is, this is the big version of what I've got. And um, what I've been using. Another head to toe. They said like, I said I already used the wash from you. And they were like, we'll send you a few more. So they sent me three of those. And then some sleepwear bath. And then they sent me this body butter. Um, and it's like their ingredients. When I was scanning them, they were amazing. That's just the head to toe wash. They sent some like relaxing tea bags, like decaf tea bags. Honestly, so generous and kind. I can't even tell you. So excited. They sent, um, oh my gosh, um, little seeds, big things grow. I'm so excited. So, so kind. And um, that's all the packages for now. But I'm going to go and get some lunch with Dan. And yeah, 20 straight in the package. It's so cute. <laughs> My designer bag has came. <laughs> this is a treat of Dan for from me and baby. Um, 
I will open it. I'm going to unbox it in a bit. But I've got some stuff to do this morning. It came with UPS this morning. We ordered it last week while we were in Cornwall. Because he was like, what, you know, obviously, he was like, I'll buy you a baby bag. Which one do you want? And I was like, it's okay, I'll get it. And he was like, no, my trick. And I was like, okay, for sure. Thank you. Thanks, baby daddy. <laughs> um, so, yes. But I'm going to finish off packing my vintage in then I thought we could go and do it it is 10 over um I read my book I've had some breakfast I got ready and well I haven't got any makeup on I've just got some um the L'Oreal lotion on again and then I just put these this little outfit on but I thought we could finish packing the vintage parcels I've been spray spraying them with snow fairy because I wanted them to be like you know, I wanted them to smell nice. Um, pile up bag. I bought a mix of like um, these from Vinted, uh, not from Vinted, from Amazon. And then I'm going to try and tidy up, and then I've got a Timu haul to film. I've just put your. If the, footage looks anything different I don't know if it will but my gimbal that you normally sit on is on charge um but like this the like tripod charges that if that makes sense that charges you so I can have it without primer fluff bag what else have we got I honestly think I've done most of it. Oh, I actually think I've done them all. What a lovely time. And I'm going to put the rest in the charity shop, the stuff that didn't sell, just because I don't have the time to... Um, I don't have the time to be like waiting for them if I'm honest um, like I just want them out of the way the skip hasn't come yet I'm still waiting for it to turn off um, and then yeah I just want to get back straight a little bit today let's just make sure nothing is in here oh I know this sheen this skims top that definitely sold let's not forget about her i don't think the rest went which is a shame well i don't know if that's for sale i think that's made here by accident Just like the murder, da, 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 da. so yeah don't want to bore you but i'll open the bag at some point later but i just want to get myself sorted before i treat myself to opening the bag and obviously it i can't well i could use it but it's for beanhead also we've come a bit closer to getting a name um which is really really fun i obviously won't tell you but i feel like everyone like i feel like everyone i speak to is quite judgmental on names like my nan my mom obviously it's our choice like regardless but like i feel like they're really judgmental and like my mom's got a name that she just wants us to call the baby um like it's just a joke but like and i like the name but like dan doesn't love it and obviously we both have to like the name um but then we fi figured out this other name which is a name that i literally never even considered at all um and like we like me and dan were watching um a video on the way back from um Cornwall. we were like watching like on tiktok you know when you type in like unique girl names like cute girl names blah 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 and it came up and we were like dan was like i love that and i was like i know someone else who has called their baby that so i was like oh i never thought of that and i was like 
that's really pretty so that's and then I told my nan and dad last night because they were like any more names and they were like that's lovely so I was like okay told my mum she liked it so yeah happy crowd which is always nice um because I think like when other people are like what the fuck in hell is that name like you're a bit more like <laughs> like is it that bad like you know so whenever people like it i feel like although it doesn't matter massively it makes you feel like okay like it's obviously a nice name um so let's go and take the vintage parcels i'm waiting for the skip still um come back tidy this room up a little bit and then we can go to i'm gonna get a little coffee and then we can come back i'm gonna film a team who team who haul and then i'm going to um walk the dogs with Dan when I get back and then edit my team of video to send over to Mel and then start tidying somewhere somehow or, or edit my combo vlog don't know got a couple of things to do today's perfume I'm going to put on the Kaylee Eden sparkling light tea I never smell this on myself so I don't I can't give a full review like I love the way it smells like it's really fruity but light but like sweet but then like, I can never smell it on myself if I'm honest so like I don't can't give a proper review. I look pregnant today. I know I am pregnant, but like you know you just feel it. I'll show you my outfit. I've got on these Zara joggers and this boohoo top, but it looks so bumpy. Um, his baby girl's little section coming along at the weekend well for tomorrow we're going to go to Ikea and to um, Mamas and Papas and then after that um, Saturday Night Dazzy's going to build the doors on the wardrobes for me um, oh, nice to just breathe and make sure I have breath but yeah <laughs> just so cute that everyone's coming together and we're going to get a little changing unit for here and I ordered some cute stuff from H&M. I hope it comes this week because it'd be really cute if it did and I can show you what I got, but I'm going to check. So, TTY. Okay. You wouldn't stay like this, so I can't drive with you like this, but uh, we're all packed up, got in the pan. I just picked up a vanilla latte to keep me going. I don't need to... Cheers. Um, let's go and do these vintage parcels. I don't want to. Let's go. That was a fucking nightmare. I managed to do some of them, but even though I asked for all digital because I don't have a printer, hang on, let me just pan you up. They've sent me ones to print still, which just a pain in the arse um i need to go to yodel for a couple of them a couple of them and also every so i'm just finding out the nearest locations i'm freezing i thought it'd be warm because the sun absolutely not every sort of shop near me so annoying i don't know what to do I don't have a printer I can't print them out like could I scan it and then like just put them in the um thing or will that not work I don't want people to lose their parcels so I'm in a bit of a predicament I don't know what the problem is I don't want to go to the post office in post oh you can do every uh, in post oh uh, right Let's go back then and look at the everyone's hey. I'm so annoyed about this. So fucking annoyed. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm just going to have to put the engine on for a second because I'm absolutely freezing. I'm going to look at the everyone's um, and then I'm going to, I don't know how to sort it. So I'm going to Google it or I don't know what. I'm going to ask Phoenix to go around and help me. Good morning. I thought we could unbox the bag. I am so excited and i thought we could unbox it together i'm also filming the tiktok so if you're you know in between the color seems a little bit weird today 
I don't know why the colour looks a bit strange. I don't know. Let me try and move you. Ta da! What have we got? Oh, it's heavy. There's a little bow and it just says thank you for shopping and then oh no right let's leave it there a sec and then there's a little envelope and it says for bean and mum love dad that's so cute so cute in my heart i'm so excited okay let's get her out Undo the wrapping. I don't want to rip it. When I envisioned a baby bag, I thought I want something like classy, cute, and I'm never going to be pregnant for the first time again, so I thought you might as well go hard or go home. <laughs> Love the gold hardware. Absolutely stunning. And then inside it comes with the strap, a separate like compartment for bits, and then it also comes with a changing mat and it just says like Chloe on the changing mat and just lie out flat um I would have got this myself but Dan was like no I really want to bite you and I was like okay <laughs> no problem let's undo the strap and put it on oh it's literally beautiful there's that place, like there's a lot of these little compartments inside as well for like bottles and things like that. Oh, these are buggy straps. They know exactly what they're doing here. So I can put buggy straps on and also my shoulder strap or I could just hang this over the buggy. Oh my God, it's stunning, I'm so excited. I don't which way to put it on. Not that way. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Oh, sorry, Rowley. I didn't realise you were on the floor. It's perfect. And I love that you could use it and it doesn't even necessarily look like, it could look like a weekend bag. Oh, you're sticking around. Hang on. I'm obsessed. I feel like you could also use this as like a weekend bag. It doesn't necessarily scream baggy bag because it doesn't have that like flap. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. She's absolutely gorgeous. It feels such nice quality. I love the gold hardware. Oh, I just feel like I will never, ever get bored of this. And it just looks bougie with my cream pram. I'm so, so excited. Honestly, I could cry. Thank you, Dan. I love you so, so much. It is beautiful. She is stunning. She was, oh, they also do like a denim one if you have a boy in a navy one, and I loved them all. I went and saw them in Selfridges and in Harrods in London, maybe, I can't remember. But I love just, I'm just obsessed with it. So yeah, here she is, wait till she's here. What a bougie little queen with her little bag. I love it. Stunning.
Hello guys, so I thought I would pop in and say I haven't forgot about you but we went to Ikea and it was a bit, it was a bit of a nightmare wasn't it? Yeah. It was so busy and there were fuckers everywhere. Family out and grandparents are there, kids are there, aunties and uncles are there. The lot. The, do the dog's in the car waiting for a walk after. <laughs> It was a lot and like people had no spatial awareness like it was quite annoying to be honest with you like I'm not being rude but like people like were just leaving their trolleys everywhere like it was just pissing me off. In the middle of an aisle like if you're going to leave your trolley to go and have a little look at the side section just put it to one side and people walk through. Like we couldn't nah. get through with our trolley because someone had abandoned her trolley so I moved her trolley and she was like sorry and I was like. I can't get past and you're not with your trolley like I'm sorry I have to move it because my boyfriend is stood there and he's blocking everyone else like we've got no choice anyway They're quite narrow aren't they the little uh, the walk through section so so we got the I'm not going to lose your plate fuck the off sm sm smastered you like, fucking smastered <laughs> smastered changing table for the baby and we're going to put it up now because we just want it up out of the way and we want to start storing her things in it um, and we then popped to mamas and papas after and what we got was there was 20% off on these mam bottles and you are Rolo, I've bought a toy in for you no, let, let Rolo have this one because you've got Santa um, I got this colour and it comes with a bottle I don't know if you're going to see a bottle, a little dummy oh, clip, <laughs> two small bottles and then one bigger one. And this is like a gift set for newborns. We then got this because they said it's really important to do tummy time as soon as you can. So we got this and there was 25% off. There's like a mirror this side, soft and like a couple of little toys and I just liked the white and grey. And then I, we just bought one outfit because it was 25% off in mamas and papas. I did like some of the things but... I did think some of it was a bit expensive. Um, a bit. Yeah. That buccal chair was a. It was. It was lovely, but it was never worth six hundred quid. You could get a whole sofa for that. Yeah, it, the rocking chairs and stuff were a joke, but we just got. I meant the outfits, but we got Rolo. Rolo, shut it. up! They're arguing over a Santa. Sorry. Um, play with it then. Um. We got this and it's just got little stripes and we got it in zero to three because their newborn section um only goes up to six pounds and what if she's over six pounds so i just thought i like it's too much like it was 16 pounds so i thought that's a lot for one body suit so i thought i'll get it in zero to three so she'll 100 percent fit in it at some point so that's what we bought we got a little changing table and then i did an order on h&m which i'm hoping he's going to be here so i can put it in this week's weekly vlog um I looked and it was dispatched because me and Molly share a H&M account so um, I um, she ordered it for me so I she messaged me today saying it was processed but then when I looked this evening it said it was dispatched so I'm hoping it might come tomorrow or Monday um, but this is re we were happy with this the only thing we didn't like was the handles but we you yeah. could choose not to get them yeah. and the full price for this was literally £200 which I thought was really good did you? Did you tell that? Uh, no, I'm just trying to find the right one. Okay. So yeah, um, I just wanted to check in. We're going to build this and I'll say we. I'm going to watch Dan build this. And I will show you when it's all up and running because then we can start putting her stuff away. I'm going to like organise it-ish and then I'm going to do a big wash. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. I didn't realise you were there. Sorry, I didn't mean to bop you in the head. Um... I'm then going to do a wash maybe like a couple of weeks, a few weeks before I'm due. I have no idea, but I'll wash it nearer to the time. Um, I don't want to just keep washing it and then it gather dust in the, the drawers. Um, so yes, um, enjoy a little time. That's a damn building, hey?
You've got those two screws there, Diana. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. And I suppose you could come at it either angle, couldn't you? Yeah. Hello, besties. Happy Saturday. Let the dogs in. You in, Ro? Okay. <laughs> you little bugger. I am so tired. I, today, so we got the skip delivered on Thursday morning and then all day yesterday um, we literally was in the skip, I think I said, I don't want to be boring. Um, and then last night we went to mum's and papa's and Nando's. I know, no, I did throw you in last night. And then basically today we've done the same and then dad's came over to help us ignore the state. Ignore the mess, um, and I just feel exhausted. So we were, we were out there pretty much all day, um, and I feel absolutely shattered. We got up, walked the dogs, and then um, we had a. I had an almond croissant for breakfast. And Dan had a pano chocolate. I'm just gonna put a hair mask in because I don't. I'm not even gonna say out loud how long I haven't washed my hair for because it's just not good. I'm gonna use the money mask. Oh, I just love the smell so good. Um, but I, because I know my hair was greasy, I put like a 15 minute scalp treatment on. Um, and I then, yeah, I put a 15 minute scalp treatment on. And then I did a pre shampoo from like the acidic. Is it like, what's the range called from L'Oreal? I'm trying to see if I can see it. It's like a bit of the dupe of the red cum acidic bonding, I think. And then. What else did I do? And then I scrubbed my hair with the scalp brush and then I um, got out the bath, scrubbed a lot of my tan off. It's not, I ran out of scrub like halfway through this so my body's so patchy. So I'm going to um, go and get some more scrub tomorrow. But honestly, I was in the skip, out the skip, like I'd jump in and help Dan and then I'd, he'd have to lift me out. But I just think my back and my glue like when i got up just i had such a bad pain then so i was being careful don't get me wrong um uh, but i just can't do what i would normally do and it like frustrates me and like we had a fire going on because we had like personal documents and stuff we wanted to just get rid of so dan put us like um made a little fire pit out of the slabs and we had some bricks and stuff so we put a we had a fire and like where I wanted to be the fire was just really going in my lungs and obviously that's not really good for me to breathe in especially not for the baby so like I did as much as I could we did so much we got rid of so much stuff around the alley from where we like ban abandoned renovating when it started to get to winter last year we um we just wanted to pick it up and change it I don't know if I've got a bit of like sunburn on my cheek um but yes so Dan's gone to the gym because he's crazy and I have yeah bathed and now I'm watching meant to be editing but I just want to chill out to be honest I feel I'm shattered so I'm watching McKenna's vlog look at me I think we are covered um so so yeah that is what I have been up to also we so weird, you know, I sent you the video about the name that we kind of like for the baby and like everyone likes it. Well, I went onto Instagram and the name was on like an Instagram ad. And it, I was like, oh, how funny. Like, and we haven't said the name like in the last few days or anything. Like, so I was like, has it been listening to me? But it was just really, I was like, oh my God, no way. Like, it was just weird. Um, so yeah, but I just wanted to catch up because I haven't vlogged all day. Like. They were just, with nothing to vlog, it was just renovating the garden. And I don't really know if you wanted to see that, to be honest with you. If you did, I'm sorry. But we're just like getting all the shit from outside. We're going to have to take all the slabs up. We're going to change a few fence panels. And um, Daz and my nan mowed the lawn for us. Um, yeah, we just did a full a full hog on the house and inside looks like a bomb's hit so just don't look around <laughs> keep your eyes 
off the mess of the house. That's going to be at last because we're coming in, in and out throughout the day. I've kept the hoover out to spot hoover so it doesn't like we're not trapped in mud everywhere. But it's quite a mess inside if I'm honest. Um, upstairs is nice. I'll show you the changing unit or finish for the baby. It looks so cute. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad I got this towel robe from Primark. I absolutely love it. Like for when my hair's wet and you know when you just like want to feel clean I feel like it gives me just clean clean girl vibes and I'm here for it there we go so I'm gonna leave my hair mask to marinate for the night and then I'm gonna wash it when I get up in the morning as long as Dan's not gonna do another fire otherwise I'll wear the mask all day what is going on with my phone <laughs> who on earth is that um I'm going to wash my hair brush on my back, but yeah, I'm aching so bad, so bad I can't even tell you. I also, if you watch any American YouTubers or like TikTokers or like you go on TikTok a lot, you'll see they always promote these, um, it's by a brand called The Clean Skin Club and it's towels for your face and like it's just better than using like I'd never use towels on my face because it's obviously they hold a lot of bacteria or whatever. And I found these like a dupe of them on um, TikTok shop and they, these are them. So if you're interested, I don't know how much they were, but they weren't a lot. And yeah, but I'm gonna go and get back into bed. I'm gonna chill it. Half five, I've been into bed since. I don't know. I've been in bed since about half four. Um, but I'm gonna go back to bed. I, if I speak to you later, I, I'll probably be asleep if, if I'm honest, I'm really, really tired, but I'm gonna, I just wanna put my retainers, a sterilizing tablet in my retainers. You took the city and the man, you took the... Where are my sterilizing tablets? I need to sort this come out. I need to just sort my life down really. I'm just going to use a sterilising tablet for my retainers. I fell asleep at like nine last night. I was so really tired after walking around IKEA. I was shattered. But yeah, we're going to, Dan's going to have more orange tea when he leaves the gym. I'm going to, I think I'm going to have a Mackey's and go to sleep. I just, he said she'll pick you up, but I don't think I can get out of this stretching in. I feel exhausted. We are... I'm so happy it's bank holiday because I just love obviously when Dan's off. Um, and then what else? I, what else was I gonna say? We are 18 weeks pregnant tomorrow, which is so exciting. Um, if we're nearly halfway. Oh my gosh, baby girl, she's cooking nicely. I'll show you her. I'll go and see if it's nice now, Lottie. And I'll show you her changing unit. Be properly when this is finished, so ignore that. But this is how the change. Dan's. What the hell is this? Hang on. <laughs> Dan's ruining it. Get off. This is what her unit looks like. I bought this changing mat cover from H and M. Then I just put her little cardigan from the custom cardi crew. Little blanket little jelly cat we got the tommy tippy bin and then this isn't necessary this is just in here um because i accidentally ordered two blankets so this is some bits from the company oh my little love so they sent these two little dummy clips then this teva then joe bought this for her from australia and then the, here's the sleepy head nest thing. I also bought the same washing basket. <laughs> Hello, you're right, baby. <laughs> Good boy, aren't you? Um, and then under here, I've just put the some of the washes. I I will move it. And then <laughs> the then the man bottles. Um, I've just put that under here too. Um. But I think it looks really cute. I'm going to get some handles for the drawers. And then I'm going to start organising like vests and stuff. But I'm really happy because I wanted something that didn't take up a lot of room. We bought another rail for here. 
Um, so I'm going to put that in, get some baby hangers, um, and then we can start hanging some stuff up. But I think it looks really cute. So happy with it. Good morning. Happy Sunday. So today's plans. We've walked the dogs. It's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter, my girly pops. Um, I still haven't washed my hair because we're going to do some painting today, so I've just scraped it back in a mask and we're going to do some painting. Dan's just setting me up. We've just cleaned all the walls and stuff and now he's going to, um, and then we're going to start painting. We're just putting some dust seats down here. Yeah? Move them, Rolos. Follow them, mate. Good boy. Move my slipper runos. I fell asleep at nine last night and I'm aching from yesterday from being in the skip and stuff. Um, we're 18 weeks today. This is what we're looking like. Quite chunky, I think. Um, but this is what we're looking like. I My job is to keep on them and they're driving me crazy. Um, but we're gonna stop painting. We were gonna paint the outside of the house today, but we didn't realize like, well, I feel I forgot everything is closed on Easter Sunday, like literally everything. So we can't paint because we need to go and get the paint. So we're going to paint all in the hall because we've got some paint. And um, we just cleaned all the walls because Dan's been redoing the loft hatch. It was quite messy. So we're going to do that. You won't have to. One second, guys. So yes, we've got some paint. We're just going to paint over it, freshen it up because we had a lot of marks up from when we were moving the furniture and stuff up and down. So we're going to do that and then, yes, that's our plans and we're just going to do some bits around the house and then we've got to cook some dinner, I'm going to wash my hair, just a chill Sunday. So let's get on with painting. Hello. I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I've just got out of the shower. Um, it is 10, quarter past three. I am just going to do some skincare. I didn't do any this morning. We literally just got up, walked the dogs, went out, and that was that. I'm just going to put the Yapoda Mist Have on. Like I said, because I didn't have any skincare, do any this morning. I'm going to do a little bit more this evening. I just washed my hair, it's all painted. We also touched up a little bit downstairs and feeling good. I do feel exhausted though, to be honest with you. So I'm sorry, breath one second. Breathlessness, it's got so much worse this week. And then, because I'm 18 weeks today, I always look on my app on the pregnancy app and it said massive, like one at the moment is like, you're gonna feel breathlessness. And I thought, perfect. And like bad tummy pains, because I've been worried. No. I, I feel like you're always worried, but I've just been like having a lot of pain in my tummy and apparently it's normal because it's like round ligament pains, everything's moving. It feels crazy, my little baby. Um, I hope she's okay. Um, I hate that, like we haven't got a scan now until the 23rd of April, which is the anatomy scan and it's only the 3rd, 31st of March. And I just don't know if I can wait that long. I might have to book a private one in, I don't know. Um, but I just put that on. I'm now going to put this on. Um, but yeah, all painted, all good. Did it look so much better? It didn't take as long with both of us there. Um, I don't know. I feel like I wish I'd have took a before photo of my scars to see if it started fade any faded any yet. I have no idea. This is falling off. It's annoying me. I can't keep my towel on for very long. But I'm going to leave my hair to just chill for a bit before I do any hair care um I've put the washing away uh, downstairs is still atrocious but we'll tidy that together tomorrow I'm gonna vlog till tomorrow and then start fresh on Tuesday I think should I pin me down a bit there you go I'm just gonna let that settle for a second and then I'm gonna use this this is my second second bottle of this I'm really enjoying it I feel like it's I don't know my skin is just better I've had a couple of breakouts recently but overall my skin is a lot calmer and a lot less red 
than it ever has been which is makes me so happy obviously you can't use uk lash when you're pregnant um so i haven't been using any but i've just been using castor oil to try and nourish my brows especially because i feel like i don't know why but i feel like my eyebrows and eyelashes are a little bit i don't know dry like malnourished whether it's like affected them more during pregnancy like they're a bit more tired <laughs> i have no idea and then i usually put three pumps of this on but it feels so good to wash my hair it feels incredible i'm so pale i'm going to tan tomorrow night i know i said missed my nail appointment this week um I couldn't make it we got a bit confused on the times so i'm gonna go on the 8th so we're looking like this we're quite grown out but it's good because my one that i broke it will give it a chance to grow a little bit and then i'm going to seal all that together with my cetaphil I'm going to do a couple of hours editing and maybe even try and get my Cornwall vlog up tonight. And then tonight I'm going to make a crispy roast potato salad for dinner. I don't know if you've seen the recipe on TikTok, but it's like a little bit of mustard, yoghurt, mayo, vinegar, and then paprika as a dressing. And then you just do a big fat bowl of salad, crispy potatoes, and then whatever meat you have. We have some chicken sausages, so we're going to do all that as a big crispy salad. So I'm looking forward to that and then i'm gonna go in with my eye cream we forgot everything was closed like i said so we managed to go to little tesco and got a couple of bits for, for lunch i had um just some cheese pickles and crackers um and that was that we didn't really have anything properly for lunch i do like this kills eye cream but then like i've never used an eye cream where i'm like oh my god i look five years younger you know like people say like it's the best eye cream to exist but is it oh, i don't read really it like i like it but like, i don't know whether it was like worth the money i've got no idea and then gonna put some castor oil on my brows and eyelashes i like to just squish it all into the spoolie and i also put a bit of a hair mask on my eyebrows just to nourish them i didn't on my eyelashes because i wanted to go in my eyes then i'm just gonna brush them through just because i do think having them done dries them out and then i'm gonna do the same on my eyelashes i'm just combing them all off when i was having a shower I was like washing my hair and I was watching McKenna's vlog and a cat jumped into like in our back garden there's like a shed and it jumped into the thing and it was like right against the bathroom window and it scared the absolute life out of me but it's a local cat and it's so cute we're not quite sure who owns it um I don't know if it's one of like it looks really healthy so I don't think it's homeless and like it's been alive for you know since we came but I know like a couple of the neighbours feed the cat so I don't know whether it just lived between houses, I have no idea. Um, but I was like tapping the glass and it was like doing this with the glass. Um, she was really cute, um, that's probably so boring. And then I just go with the UK Lash Separator and I just comb through my eyelashes and it helps to just separate all my eyelashes and like they grow on their own then. So yes, that is all. So that's all the skincare I'm gonna do. I'm going to put a little bit of the Fenty plush pudding. This is like, not one of them lip products that I use for glow, but it makes my lips feel so nice. It's thick, tastes good, and I feel like it does a good job. I would like to get more Fenty products, to be honest. I really, I don't like getting anything done. Like, I think now I look back at my face when I had lip filler, like, do I think my lips are the biggest? Absolutely not. Like, would I like them bigger? Possibly, but because they migrated back so bad last time like it makes me really sad looking back at them like it makes me feel like insecure so like i'm scared to get anything done but i really would like a lip blush because i've got such power lips like on my like every day like i always like you know when your makeup cut like lipstick comes off and i'm like my lips just look horrible but then i, I feel i don't know i don't know what whatever to get it done or not 
if anyone knows, I found her when I first found out I was pregnant. She's called Holly Annalise, Annalisa, Holly Annalisa, is that right? I think that's right. And she's, um, she is a girl. <laughs> what am I on about? She's really nice. And she, I don't believe she has anything, but she got a little blush. Um, for the same reason, like she just felt like her lips were really, really pale or whatever. And she, hers looks stunning. Like they've they've just got a really natural tint. Because like I feel like sometimes my lips look so white compared to like my face. Like right now they don't look so bad when I don't have any makeup on. But when I do have makeup on, I think, ugh. And because I wear tan and um, like makeup, obviously that's a lot darker than my actual like natural skin tone. It makes them look a lot whiter. So I don't know. So if you ever had a lip blush, let me know. I'm not heavily considering it. It's just like an idea floating. I'm not like ready to go and book it in. I haven't even really looked into it. So I don't know. I also would like a hair appointment. I want to get my hair cut and dyed. I'm just going to, yeah, let my hair like towel dry a bit. I've washed all my hair brush out and I'm going to go and edit for a bit. Okay, wait. If you can hear Arsenal, I'm sorry, I cannot turn it down. It is now half four. Was it called past three? If you can hear any shouting, you already know the drill. If you've watched my blogs before, Dan will shout at the Arsenal. And if you have a boyfriend that likes football, I'm sure you can relate. Okay, hair care. I'm not going to do anything dramatically different. So, we also went to just... Um, I went to just start the dinner. And a bit of a predicament because we put oven pride in yesterday to deep clean our oven and we basically didn't have it like cleaned it all out all the trays so we have no oven but we've got some hot dog rolls if they're not i don't want to check in case they're moldy because i'm scared because <laughs> we'll have nothing to eat um so that's annoying so we're not having crispy potato salad we're gonna have to have it in a day and i'd already put the potatoes in to soak as well oh. it is what it is hey right does anyone like everyone says this is magic and like maybe it's because i don't not use it like would i notice a difference i have no idea but like i don't not like it but like i, I don't feel like my hair looks like the most silky shiniest ever but then like i, I don't know I don't know. And then I'm going to put some of the GHD Sleek Talker Oil. Through the ends of the hair. And then I also like to put a bit of the um, Coco and Eve. Like a bird. I don't know what that was, but it leaked on my leg. So I'm kind of glad because I don't have to do dinner now. I look, I feel like I've got a weird fringe, so I just ignore my hair. Um, and then I'm gonna go over my hair with the GHD Glad. And then I'm just gonna sit and edit my vlog because making hot dogs and salad will not take long. And then I'm gonna put you on charge. So it's only half four, so I won't do dinner for a couple of hours. But we didn't eat our crisps last night because I we always have crisps on Saturday night. And um, like a big packet of salt and vinegar ones. Like you know the ones that are like just a bit bigger than the grab pack. We have those. Um so but but so I um what was I gonna say? I fell asleep too early last night, so we didn't have any. So we're gonna have them tonight. So we've got those, so that will help. If we are starving, Marvin. Oh, it's not Glide, it's Duet Style. I thought it was GHD Glide something. But yeah, I'm editing my Cornwall vlog. I'm going to try and get it up tonight. I don't know. I'm going to give it my best shot. If not, I'm going to put it up to Mara. Let's do it. partition my hair
it's a knife. Let's clean. No time for chat.